here a little bit about my last video that I did involved this little microbus. Um, but one of the invaluable tools that I had to work with was these new loom cubes with uh, built-in lithium-ion batteries so they don't need to be plugged in. They come with a great little app that you can control with your phone. You can turn them all on at once or you can turn them on and off individually. I really like that. Uh, they come with a variety of accessories, uh, barn doors, which is great for controlling your lighting. Uh, controlling the quality of your lighting, you got diffusers, uh, honeycombs, and a wide variety of warming and color gels, which is great. I've got a yellow gel on here, on here, green gel on here. So for this shoot, I wanted to do a little bit lighter video than the one that I did last um, regarding the COVID-19. Um, it was a little bit of a surreal, uh, quiet, somber kind of video, and so I wanted to do something to lighten the spirit a little bit and that's why I thought of shooting the van. I have this great little um, auto dolly here. You just turn it on and one wheel rolls, the other two follow along. So typically you put your camera on it or something. Um, but you can also put a light on it and it worked well for this video shoot. I went down to the beach, collected uh, about 15 pounds of sand, a lot more than I uh, needed. So once I came up with the initial idea, uh, I took my iPhone on the uh, Osmo 3, went down to the Alamoana Beach, and I just walked along um, to get the background image, what you see here. And I didn't know exactly what speed I should be walking at, um, but I knew I could uh, adjust that in post. Um, I didn't know exactly what focal length I needed because uh, my intention was to put it up on the 65 inch QLED TV in the background of this uh, little shoot and use it for, for a moving background. The idea was to imitate that you're riding along in a vehicle, kind of cruising the strip, you know, checking out the beach, and uh, you see this little minivan go by. So I mounted the um, loom cube on the auto dolly, coupled that with a yellow gel, and I put the snoot on it. That way, you got total control of the lighting. I wanted some warm lighting, like uh, sun sunlight, shining on the van. Uh, my second loom cube was actually sitting on the desk with another snoot on it, but it was pointed just in one direction. It's very, very subtle. When the van goes by, you'll see that the side of the van is all lit up nicely so that you can clearly read the lettering. No speed control on the uh, auto dolly, so it just goes at its own pace. I hooked up a little uh, little green thread, which you can see in the video. You know, if you wanted to really get ambitious, you could edit that out. I think it turned out all right. The uh, speeds seem to match up a little bit. I envisioned having the van going across on sand, but um, the setup just wouldn't allow that. Uh, the, the van and the auto dolly both, uh, well, not so much the van, but the auto dolly, it only has so much pull, so it couldn't go trucking across a bunch of sand. So I just uh, laid a bunch of sand in front. The end result, I think, is, uh, is, is pretty cool. It was pretty fun. Pretty fun working with these little loom cubes and the versatility I just love. Uh, I like that they're waterproof, so I don't need to worry about uh, going out on a location shoot and being caught in the rain, or uh, going on the, on the beach and shooting in the nighttime. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe if you like these videos. Tell me what you want to see more of.